The next presentation, um, we're going back to, we're going to Peru. And it's, uh, for me, kind of a, really a dream project, a dream uh, situation that uh, I wish we would find more often because you will see how uh, a university that, of course, needs buildings. Um, and the university that teaches uh, VDC is using VDC uh, to build its own buildings and uh, bringing on board um, professionals from several companies that have been certified in the VDC program that they also teach um, to achieve, uh, I would say, a very remarkable result on the project. But uh, I should let the project team uh, tell the story. So um, uh, to introduce the project and the rest of the team, please welcome Alexandre Del Savio, who is a um, professor there in uh, the University of Lima and also very involved in the projects. Good afternoon. So thank you very much, Martin, for the invitation and for the introduction. And actually, what I'd like to share with you today, it's more than IPD. It's a history behind IPD. It's our life. It's our day-to-day.
This is an integrated in collaborative presentation. I will call next uh, our architect, Sazak, who is in charge of our master plan. All right, and talking about our main goals, right? What we are looking is to create a university and to, to get from the project it's a, it's a deliv deliverable, which the, we are calling here high-performance university or high-performance campus. I don't know if it, we have that term, Martin. It's normally it's high-performance building, but I would say we are looking for a high-performance campus. And of course, the, the main issues behind a high-performance building call uh, relate to the usable, buildable, sustainable, operable, like uh, in La Parte de Usable, uh, promote a healthier and more integrated college lifestyle and a lot of change that we are implementing in our project. So this is a timeline, right? We started in 2017 with our students building the entire Universe of Lima facilities, right? Building the, the utilities and the buildings with our students. One year later, we hired our architect to, to design the master plan. And two years late, we started the first VDC building at the University of Lima. I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. And then one year and a half later, another one, but now considering the IPD and uh, collaborative contracts. And now we are about to start the third one. I say the University of Lima seems a contractor, right? <laughs> building a building after another building, which will consider the lessons learned from the previous projects. So, but just to make some, some comments from the beginning, in the beginning we, we had only Bean, but Bean was very useful as well in order to explain to our president, to, to explain to our stakeholders what would be this change behind the campus. So Bean was very helpful to, to understand the project, to explain the client about the project. This was the, the first building, right, with VDC. Right, there's a small video over there. But to reach this project, we needed to include, in the terms of reference, VDC concepts in the moment to to call different contractors, different supervision to work with us. So VDC uh, started being a requirement in our contracts. And just, we have more than, we have doses and doses of VDC implementations in our campus, right? And then I was trying to figure out which result I could share with you related to different um, production metrics and I just get one here to show the powerful of I sessions. And uh, before VDC, I mean, I talk about 2009, 2016, those two buildings, we had an average response time of around nine, seven days. That was the, the average of the response and decisions and, and so on. After we implemented the first building with VDC, we managed to take it down to nine minutes. So you can see that the powerful of doing the things with VDC and developing a proper eye sessions, it's really powerful. In the same way that we are taking the time, the, the time down, the projects are more and more complex projects that we are implementing in our master plan. Going to the IPD project, right? This was another important change because we couldn't contract um, a supervision or a designer based on a collaborative contract. So we needed to convince the president and the stakeholders about how important it would be to do those changes in our regulations, so explain the benefits of the cost reductions, time savings, and also increasing the quality, and, and so on. 
So it was uh, a quite hard work, right? Until being able to convince our president that we do need to to do those changes in the way that we are contracting everything in the universe of Lima. And next steps, right? We don't want to 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 stop at just uh, IPD implementations. We we want to go beyond that. We want to manage our entire facility based on digital twins, right? And also walking uh, in the direction of, of a net zero facility, these other goals that we, we have from our master plan. So the contributions that we, we have managed to, to do in collaboration with the VDC Army, right, I call VDC Army, and with the industry and with the state, I could uh, more or less summarize in those three columns. From the academy, we, we have hundreds and hundreds of students been working uh, with VDC in research projects, and also, as I said, we have one year of VDC in our civil engineering program. It's, it's part of the civil engineering program, VDC. From the industry, we, in, in collaboration with SAIF, Stanford Center of Professionals, we have more than 300 VDC professionals, mentors, uh, a lot of congress. We are also running some in-house programs with some partners like the Brazilian National Union of Heavy Construction Industry. We had two programs over there. And with the state, uh, it's about the regulation, the, the standards, and also we are helping the, the government to implement being in public universities. Uh, we did that for three universities and we are helping them to, to implement uh, five universities more. To conclude, uh, we have also promoting VDC in different ways. Another way is the VDC dictionary. We have in Spanish, Portuguese, Portuguese and English. And by the end of this year, we will have also a, a French version. It's coming soon. And from IPD, which is the, the main goal of our presentation today, we, we are about to finish the translation, maybe in one month more. And we hope to get published the first uh, IPD book in Spanish by April next year. So thank you very much indeed. And now we'll go to the, our partners. And the, the first one to go, to go next is our architect, Antonio Furukawa from Sasak, who will tell you more about our master plan and the strategies behind our IPD implementation. Thank you.